What's up with it? Hey, did you know that we primates and um that that old little saying like when we grew up like monkey see monkey do that's real like when we see things when we see people do things when we see people possess things and just things that we just see per as we walking past we want it just because we see it for no other reason but we want it just because we see it did you know like when you hear people say things and then you watch the vibe of of the movement of how people understand what they just heard how alluring that is and we and we want to be part of that like you ever been at a football game and you see them doing the wave, you know, and you just too cool to do the wave. You just too cool. We all been that on some level, shape, form, or fashion. But then when the wave come, you watching it go around the whole stadium. Then it get to you like, nah, I'm not doing that. And then they get to like five people right beside you, and then you go like. <laughs> that's how life works. <laughs> Real life, that's how it works. And I said that to say, um, because I, I, I just was talking to somebody, and. They was encouraging me to maybe write a uh, love story, you know. Get outside the box. I'm thinking about it, you know. Down the road, I just finish when I'm already started, right? But how important it, it is to see love in the black community. Love being shown from a man to a woman, from a woman to a child, from a, from a man to a child, to, to children with each other. Like the music we listen to, it's, it's abusive to our ears because it have our mind trained that violence is the only beautiful thing that this life has to offer and destruct and watching destructive behavior. Just like, you know, and, 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 and like I was saying, because we primates when we see and we hear these things, you know, we kind of want to embrace it in our in our in our life. I mean, um, as soon as you see a person with the new Jordans, you got to have them. You know, you ain't need them five minutes ago. That's what commercials about. You know, you don't be hungry, and then next thing you know, uh, McDonald's or whatever you know, particular kind of food maybe like you know, come on a commercial. And you're like, oh, I'm hungry, right? That's how we are as humans. And when you kind of start to understand that that work, that's how it works as humans, you start to recognize the necessity and the, you know, the greater need to be extra when it comes to showing love and speaking positive and to what they call the universe. Not with the universe thing, but for the sake of this conversation, it makes sense, right? You know, when the last time a mother told her child, I love you, we don't hear stuff like that in our community. Ain't that strange? Like, when the last time you seen a man affectionately sh um, show love to the woman he actually loves? It's like, in our community, we gotta, we gotta, show love to get love back right but we don't want to display it out openly like if i got a, a cool dude that's he's my right hand like you know i can't be like dog you know say something nice about him per because it's looked at as weak who started that man where we get that from and more important than embracing that as a thought and trying to dissect it and figure it out 
it don't work, so don't even try to fix it. We don't hear love songs on the radio no more. We don't hear compassionate uh, words from the women, you know, inspiring the men. And and we and, and, it, and a lot of that may come from, you know, we don't even tell women that we care about them. We don't show them that we care about them. We don't go above and beyond and showing the people who deserve, you know, to hear and 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 to be seen in certain lights that we like we that we care about them, right? This is food for thought, man. I just was thinking about that, man. The best leaders were once the best followers. Meaning, the, in order to be a good follower, you have to find somebody that's worth leading you. You're not just gonna accept anything, and that's what that's what I think a lot of women are, are at in life right now. They're not just accepting just because you're a man. You want you know. At the end of the day, we all need a leader, so we all need to choose our leaders properly, right? And follow them with the best example. Because when I was growing up, I took a liking to certain older guys. And certain older guys took a liking to me. And I learned their ways, and they taught me their ways. And now I'm a leader. And based on who I chose to lead me is based on how I speak and how I walk and how I move these days, right? So it's very important to choose your leader wisely because to today's followers is tomorrow's leaders. And if we need love on the table, we need somebody to know the that know the recipe of how to bake that cake, you feel me? Because if the cake don't get baked, we can't feast, you feel me? Show some love, man. Show some love. Well, we'll put on entertainment, we out here.